at the Star Jadel, and this is Monday Messengers. So, ambassadors of Christ, let us all worship the Lord. Yes, let's all stand and let's worship the Lord together. challenges and that you are ready to do this week's set of challenges and to memorize this week's verse and it's actually found in Zephaniah 2 verse 3 so Bettina why don't you read that verse for us Zephaniah 2 verse 3 seek the Lord all you humble of the land who do his just commands seek righteousness seek humility perhaps you may be hidden on the day of the anger so why don't you join us and let's read this verse all together Zephaniah 2 verse 3 Seek the Lord, all you humble of the land, who do His just commands. Seek righteousness, seek humility, perhaps you may be hidden on the day of the anger of the Lord. And for a challenge for you every Monday messengers, we encourage you to post this verse, Zephaniah 2 verse 3, on your Facebook timeline so that anyone who might be scrolling through their social media accounts will be blessed by the word of the Lord and will be encouraged to seek Him with all of their hearts. And as you post the verse of the week, don't forget your hashtags 
Destination, Monday Messengers, and I Accept the Challenge. And yes, we sure hope you do accept the challenge. And stay tuned for tomorrow's challenge in my YouTube. So God bless and always remember, you are destined for Christ. Hi teens, this is Ms. Sara Abby and this is Evangelism 101. And once again, we will be giving you useful tips in evangelism. And with me today is... Hi, I'm Gwen. Hi, I'm Lush. And we will be teaching you the ABCs of the Salvation Prayer. A. Accept that you are a sinner and ask forgiveness for your sins. It says in 1 John 1 verse 9, But if we confess our sins to Him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. B. Believe that God died for our sins and rose again. It says in Mark 16 verse 16, Anyone who believes and is baptized will be saved, but anyone who refuses to believe will be condemned. C. Confess that He is your Savior and Lord of your life. It says in Romans 10 verse 9, If you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. Gwen, why don't you give us an example based on what we have learned today? Let me assist you in the prayer of salvation. You can repeat this after me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Thank you for the gift of love. Thank you for the gift of love. I come to you. I come to you and ask forgiveness for my sins. And ask forgiveness for my sins. I believe, I believe that you died on the cross, that you died on the cross and rose again to give me a new life. And rose again to give me a new life. From now on, from now on, you are the Savior, you are the Savior, and the Lord of my life, and the Lord of my life. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Great job, Gwen and Lash. That was a great pattern that we can all follow whenever we lead people to Christ. Come on, teens. Let's come and share the gospel in season and out of season. God bless. Hello to you. Welcome back to... Teens in Tune, I am Pastora Cristel and once again, we have another song feature for you that is definitely Bible-based and the singers are solid Christians. For today's episode, we are featuring the song Completely by Ledger. Jennifer Carol Ledger is an English drummer and co-vocalist for the Christian rock band Skillet. At the age of 18, she became Skillet's drummer. Band members from Skillet discovered Ledger when they attended church services in Coventry where she was living at that time. Ledger released her solo album in the year 2018 under the name Ledger. Several songs hit the Christian rock chart and several other songs hit the contemporary Christian music chart. Her song completely, as she explains, is a celebration of God's love. Wow! According to her, I find it so mind-blowing that before the creation of the world, He not only knew my name, but He chose me and loved me. Amen. There is nothing better and greater and sweeter than the love of our God and the fact that I can rest in that for the rest of my life. It is simple, but it's profound, and I think it's absolutely worth celebrating. Amen, teens. The love of God also made a way for us to be reunited with Him. We are no longer slaves to sin, but we are freed in Christ. Romans 5 verse 8, But God demonstrates His own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Let us listen to this song. You are the one, you are the one I need.
hope you like our song feature for today completely by Ledger. You can check it out on our Spotify playlist entitled Destination Teens in Tune. Always remember teens, it is important that we choose the songs that we listen to. Let God's word always be our standard in everything. You are destined for Christ. God bless you. Hello teens! I'm Pastor Jadel and this is Compass. Today is Monday Messengers. So we are going to talk about how do we become an ambassador of Christ Jesus. Today we are going to talk about the heart of God for those who are lost. So would you open your Bibles please in Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 17. How does God feel about us? The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by His love. He will exalt over you with loud singing. So as you can see, God wants to be with His people. God wants us. God desires our company. And we know that because He loves us from the very beginning, He created man to have a relationship and fellowship with us. Psalm 145 verse 13 your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures throughout all generations. As you can see, the Lord is faithful in all His words and kind in all His works. Now, we know that God is loving toward us. So, He desires to be with us, to have a fellowship with us, and He desires that we are going to be the object of His love. And it says here, that God is faithful to all of His word, and He is kind to all of His works. And we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for the great purpose that He has set for us. God also takes delight in us. In Numbers 14 verse 8, it says here, If the Lord delights in us, He will bring us into this land and give it to us, a land that flows with milk and honey. And we are talking about the people of God. And indeed, God brought them in that place, a land flowing with milk and honey, all because God is pleased with them. God is delighted with His people. And also, God will quiet us with His love. And how many of you teens have been satisfied with maybe the food that you ate or the buffet that you've been? Mm, I know that it's been a while since the last buffet <laughs> that you have experienced outside. But uh, most of the families are at home celebrating their birthdays, anniversaries, special occasions with some gupsal and a lot of food. And if you have experienced satisfaction about the food that you ate, then imagine that feeling and multiply it to infinity. The satisfaction that we have in God. God wants to satisfy you with His love. Satisfied in sense that you're not looking for other things after you have gotten your full. Full of God. Now in Psalm 90 verse 14, it says here, Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. The Lord satisfies us in the morning with His love. We have to make a decision to spend time with Him. Psalm 91 verse 16, With long life I will satisfy Him and show Him my salvation. And we've been reading this all throughout the pandemic. God will satisfy us with long life. He will quiet us with His love. Now, teens, as we can see the heart of God for each and every one of us, he loves us. He wants to have fellowship with us, a relationship with us. He delights in us, great delight. And also that He wants to satisfy us with His love. Now with all of these things filling up your heart, we thank God that we can experience this as people who are saved. But today, let this be your message to the people that you know who needed to feel satisfaction love great delight from the lord because this is exactly how the lord feels as well for the people who are unsaved 
He wants them to experience His love, His delight in them, His desire for a relationship with them, for a fellowship with them. They're created to have fellowship with God too and His desire to satisfy them with His love. Let you become a channel of this blessing from the Lord to the people who needed to know Him in their lives as Lord and Savior. Now let us pray for that opportunity to come to us. Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. And right now, Lord, we pray that we will all become channels of your blessing, O God, of your desire to satisfy people with your love, of your desire to take delight in your people, of your desire to love on us and to have a relationship and fellowship with people. Thank you, Lord God, that we will communicate this same love that we have experienced from you to others. That, God, they will know and feel and see and really believe in you, God, as they see the life that is lived before them by Christians around them. Father, thank you that, God, you will give us open doors of opportunity and open hearts that hears and listens, Father God, to the voice of the Lord. And we thank you that we are a part of this great work that you have entrusted to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything, God, that you have commanded, and teaching them how to become more like you, and teaching them, Lord God, your love and who you really are. Lord, we love you and we thank you for this opportunity. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, teens, for being here with us at Destination. See you again tomorrow, 5 o'clock.